we are, I am, this is, I'm Ryan McGinnis. The title of this exhibition is Figure Drawings at Pace Prints in New York. What is new in this exhibition are these neon pieces where the figures are maybe 110, 115% um, life size. One of the few times where I've isolated the figure and shown really just the final drawing of the figure. Um, also one of the first times that I've um, concentrated on line as opposed to shape and uh, that's a real uh, departure for me. So all of the all of the images start with figure drawings so when I'm making the initial drawings and I'm sketching from life I'm making very quick gestural um, sketches that may might take you know five to eight minutes but later when I'm developing those sketches, what I'm doing is not necessarily making drawings of figures. Rather, I'm making drawings of drawings and those subsequent stages and steps and all those later iterations of those drawings tend to get a little more abstracted and um, perfected in in just the, uh, uh, the formal aspects of, of of composing shapes and making forms. So in the end, these are um, the figures that are somewhere on the spectrum between representation and abstraction, um, maybe leaning more toward abstraction in some cases. So when I am making the drawings and developing the shapes, I'm trying to make um, find the underlying geometry and make make the drawings as as geometrically perfect as i can and what i mean by that for me is that all lines that i intend to be parallel are truly parallel for example lines that i intend to be tangent to curves for example are truly tangent if i want something to be a circle then it's a perfect circle for example spacings are all the same within within the drawings. So that's what I mean by when I, I kind of perfect the drawing. This body of work in its subject matter is actually different and some things I've done in the past because the these figures reference people that exist in the real world and specific people. I want to make that point in the titles. So the the titles of all the pieces have the titles of the models' first names. It's it's important to me that um, that we know that they are derived from very specific people. I don't know where within the uh, search for universal forms that the essence of the original models comes comes through, um, but in some cases it, it, it does. Yeah. The, the poses do range from classical poses to pornographic poses, and kind of everything in between, including yoga poses. And that's uh, interesting to me, especially on the more pornographic end. To classically draw figures to the point where they become so abstract you're not quite sure what you're looking at and you almost have to do a double take and so the drawings operate in a, in a more subversive way. Furthermore, a lot of the poses are posing aggressively and looking at uh, the viewer. So they're very consciously being viewed and that's important for me because these aren't necessarily voyeuristic. These are um, poses that are a little more uh, empowering, for lack of a better word, or, or self-conscious, because it's not about looking, it's almost about being looked at while simultaneously looking. It was important for me to title the show
figure drawings in order to, again, kind of expand the definition of what we consider a drawing. These are drawings in light and glass. These are drawings in etched steel. These are um, drawings um, exposed in light on paper. In the case of the cyanotypes, these are drawings in glass. These are drawings in porcelain enamel. Um, and these are drawings in ink on linen. It might be interesting to take the works in the exhibition and position them on uh, a linear spectrum from representation to abstraction.